And our second semi-final in our junior bantamweight division here, 61.2 kilos, 135 pounds. We have Morad Ibrahimov representing the Kingdom of Bahrain, taking on Ivan Pashish, representing Ukraine in the red. Murad Ibrahimov has been extremely impressive in this tournament so far, taken no damage, been in control of every round that I've seen. We've seen him a few times over on cage number four. Comes out in the South Four stance. Ivan, on the other hand, had a very tough fight yesterday to make it here. But early on, showing no respect. Coming forwards. That's what we've seen always from Ibrahimov. Very patient. Waits for his moment. And then once he enters, gets the fight to the mat. Is very hard to deal with. Ivan's hips nice and low, though. As he stalks Ibrahimov. Nice right hand lands. Ivan making Ibrahimov look a little bit uncomfortable here. Faints. Every time he faints, gets a bite from Ibrahimov. I like how low uh, his hips are, Ivan. Low hips. Power in the hands. Setups. Nice faints. Nice lateral movement from Ibrahimov, but it's not mounted much offense thus far. He's been bullied around the cage a little bit. Normally does that to lull him into a false sense of security, but very diligent and disciplined is Ivan. Hips low. He knows he wants to take down. He can see, you can see it. He's almost in a wrestling stance with his head forwards. Nice feint there from Ibrahimov. Oh, Ivan's now biting on these feints, and his also hips have come up a little bit higher. There you go, back to that wrestling stance. There it is, the takedown attempt from Ibrahimov gets deep on that single. Would not want to grab the head of Murad Ibrahimov. I would be pushing him away from me as much as possible. Gets in deep on this single and a lift. Nice slam takedown. Looks for the armbar here, though, Ivan. This is tight. A real upset. This will be as the 10 second cracker goes. Murad Winston. Belly down. And a tap. Oh, ho, ho. confusion in the corner. Murad Ibrahim have definitely tapped there. But we think it might have been after the bell. The shouts of Ukraina come from the corner of Ivan Push. Not sure what's going to happen here, but that was a hell of an upset. Beautiful arm bar there from Ivan. Confusion. In the Kingdom of Bahrain's corner. There's no confusion. He definitely tapped. Murad tapped to that armbar. The only confusion is, was it before or after the bell? Me, personally, not that I should give my opinion, but I think it was after the bell. I think we should see a second round. But I'm not sure how damaged the arm, the right arm is of Murad Ibrahimov. Like I said, has been a real force in this tournament so this thus far. Has been unstoppable, Murad. And has been in no danger. I've not seen him in one single bad position. And now he's been struggling with the striking of Ivan. 
and then getting tapped on the ground as well. This has been a long break. Going to be interested to see what the officials here at IMF do. One of these moments has been many in my life where I wish I could speak the Russian language. Animation in both corners here as the discussion continues. The discussion continues. I definitely saw a tap. I mean, I haven't got the video footage here for the replay, but the discussion for me is if it was before or after the bell that I'd have to look back into but I think the decision has been made and we will see a second round two ways you can look at it for Ivan confident going into this second he's all he might feel he's already won the fight but Ibrahimov now is going to have urgency and desperation in his eyes Struggled early on, but he's got to stay diligent, does Ivan, and keep those hips low. Frustration, you can see it coming out of him now. First round, Ivan had good hips, stayed low, but maybe he would give him off afraid now to go to the ground with this after getting submitted as well. Maybe the arm affecting him and hurting a little bit. Nice switch of stance, good speed. Faint and there looks for the takedown, gets hold of that, that, that single and gets it easy this time. Back into a similar position. Ivan now in the half butterfly, trying to climb those feet up. No, he's dangerous off his back. Does Murad going to be more aware now? Finds his foot on the hip. Does Ivan on the bottom? Just see that wrist control around the back from Ibrahimov. Such a powerful technique if you can get there. Ivan now needs to try and make an angle. Trying to climb that foot on the cage to get some sort of opening, but Murad. Denies it this time. Reaches under the leg, has hold of this arm. Murad scrambles, manages to escape, but that was close again. Nice sweep from Ivan. Now in on this head, in on this neck. Arming guillotine attempt. Hard to see how deep it is. No, Murad escapes. Oh, 
Real interest in this fight now, how it's gone. Murad on top. Throwing big ground and pound. That arm doesn't need to seem to be bothering him anymore. Big shots from the top. As round two comes to an end. It's even going to be interesting to see how the first round was scored if we make it to a decision. You can see how Ivan is he's very unhappy in the corner. Taking deep, deep breaths. Felt the pressure there. Wearing the marks on the face of Murad Ibrahimov. Deep breaths coming from Morad as well, though. He looks tired. A lot of emotions in this fight. Going to need an iron will going into this third, though, from both men. I'd like to see Ivan switch back on like he was in that first round, get those hips a little bit lower and stalk Morad Ibrahimov. Once Murad gets on top, he is very, very hard to deal with. Coming out in the southpaw stance. Murad Ibrahimov representing the Kingdom of Bahrain. Take on Ivan Push. We from Ukraine. Grabbing hold of that single. Switches up to a double and converts it early now in this third round. Ivan has a grasp on the head, but that's going to do him no good in this position. That left shoulder pressure is going to be too much for Ibrahimov. Nice frame on the hip. Got to try and get his hips away and try and stand back up, does Ivan. But we haven't seen that thus far in the three rounds. We haven't seen him anywhere near trying to stand up. Off his back, obviously he's had his moments as we saw in the first. As he tries again now to create an angle to go for this arm. And he gets it again. Slides out though. Does Murad hyper sensitive to that now. He knows the dangers. Pin and a punch from the side control position. Great control on top here. Not allowing Ivan to do anything as he regains that guard. Ivan's got to switch it up now. Can't just simply keep going for this armbar. Murad's very aware of it, hypersensitive to it. Needs to try and maybe stand or try and invert, do something different, change the dynamics of the fight because if we continue like this, He's trying to switch those hips out again. Big shots on top from Bahrain. Body, body, head. Big hammers. Gets some space, Ivan, though, tries to stand. Cannot. Run back down from Murad Ibrahimov. Ui, big left hand. He gets the sweep in the final seconds. Interesting fight here. I do feel for Ivan, but dominance in round two and three. I believe we'll see Murad Ibrahimov taking himself through to the finals tomorrow.
has been absolutely perfect for me, Moradi Brigimov. The only moment I've seen him have a lapse of judgment was at the end of that first. Every other fight I've seen him here on, on cage four, he's been dominant, like he was in second and third round. Dominant, dominant, dominant. He's going to be a force to be reckoned with in the finals tomorrow. And he will be taking on Asef Shuparov, who we saw in our last fight, who was extremely impressive as well. And sometimes that's how these tournaments go. I feel bad for Ivan, but that will take Murad Ibrahimov into our finals to take on Asef Shuparov tomorrow. Hell of a fight, that. I'm excited for that 